Last week was the third Democratic debate where 10 presidential hopefuls went head to head. You know, I was actually going to make a joke about this story, but I don't think it needs a joke. I think it needs to be slow jam. You know what I'm talking about, Trey? Yeah, Jimmy, I think you're saying you want to slow jam this news. That's right. I want to slow jam the news, and I'm not the only one. Kamala Harris, and I too would like to slow jam this news. Well, hit me six times! During last week's debate, I told the American people why I'm running for president. I'm a public servant, a civil rights leader, and the second African American woman in history to be elected to the United States Senate. At the core of my campaign is my 3 a.m. agenda, my plan to solve the issues that keep Americans up at night. I'll implement health care for all and even give middle class families $500 a month right in their pockets. And let me tell you something, I'm just getting started. No, yeah. Kamala Harris is just heating up. She's thinking about you late at night while you're trying to put that sweet restless body of yours to bed. Is that $500 in your pocket? Or are you just happy your health care is free? With Kamala, it's both. Ever since Barack left, we've been off track. But Kamala's trying to get us back to black. Now here's a question for you, Kamala Cabello. This country's got a whole lot of hot button issues that we could touch on. But what's the first thing we need to do to give us all some relief? Well, let me start by saying this. Climate change is the single greatest threat facing our world today. That's why I am committed to passing a Green New Deal, creating clean jobs, and finally putting an end to fracking once and for all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mama La Kamala just don't give a frack. She took a good look at Mother Earth and decided it's a MILF, a mother I'd like to fix. The planet is a MILF now. All right. All right. When it comes to climate, she's a real front runner. She's heating up like it's still hot girl summer. I like the way you work at K Higgity, but I gotta ask, lately this country's been so divided sleeping on opposite sides of the bed. Why do you think we can't all just come together? Well, it's my opinion that we need a president who fights for the best of who we are. And over the past three years, Donald Trump has done the exact opposite. Hold up. So what you're trying to say is that Trump's the bad guy? Duh. Now tell me this, comma, 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 Kamala Harris. By now, we've seen the Democrats get down and dirty on the debate stage. But what about debating President Trump? You think you could deliver the goods against the commander in cheese buff? Well, Jimmy, if I do debate President Trump, I'm sure it'll be a competitive face-off where either one of us could end up on top. Really? No, I'd wipe the floor with him. All right, all right. One last tango in Harris before this interview's over. Now we've got an audience jam-packed with college students here tonight, so what would you tell these curious co-eds that you haven't already? Well, just that together, we can create the America we believe in. We can uplift vulnerable communities, and we can finally recognize that crippling student loan debt is a burden on all of us. That's why we need to make college debt-free for every American to attend. Wow. Now that's someone who knows how to play to a college crowd. Well, guess what? Two can play at that game. Oh yeah, White Claw Fall. Jimmy, Jimmy, uh, do less. Kamala just dropped the bomb line. It's time for a leader 
who leads with their heart. We must stand together or we'll all fall apart. The nation is down, but we can rebound. The future is female and her time is now. This girl is on fire, don't step on a few. And that is how we slow jam the news. Oh yeah. Give it up for Senator Kamala Harris. And it's on and on and on.